Have a go at one bounce as a game for a few minutes. Fill your boots. So we're exploring an arrival activity, yeah? I'm going to quiz you about that at the end of the arrival activity, but we're going to stretch it out a bit, because like I said, you're here to learn as coaches. So you're playing a version of one bounce. Is it okay if you're playing a different version to the version I've got in here? Is it okay? Absolutely, yeah? As long as it has some purpose. So go back, introduce a new rule that is going to challenge you as a group of players to work better together, yeah? work better together around one bounce. Off you go. Oh, I love the scoop! That's it. Can you try and stay in the area? Can you? I dare you. Oh, lovely touch, lovely touch! Okay, so the challenge was, introduce one rule that does what? Improves what? Working together. So go on then, what you got? So you did names. Talk me through it. We just learned each other names. We were telling the person Yeah. name. We were passing the voice. communication name. Great. No one, no one in the group's called mine, are they? No. Because that normally throws that one. <laughs> Leave it. Yeah, that one came up. I know him. He's a great player. Never turns up though. Yeah, great. Over here. You did the names as well. Who started it first? Get your hashtag in sooner. Anything different? Oh, go on then. Talk me through that one. We know what to expect. Continuity in the play. Right. So you actually brought an element of structure and formation. Cool, like that. Uh, over here. We did. Uh... Wrong foot, get you out of your comfort zone. Oh, okay, so wrong foot. Any advances on wrong foot as a term? I see where you're going with it. Weaker foot, foot any better than that? Can you use your other foot? <laughs> any left foot, is it here? That hurt. So can you use your other foot? Because there's two. One's not just for standing on. So I like your thinking, but think about what message it sends to the players if we say the wrong foot. They'll never see it as the right foot. But I've used that term as well, so I've fallen into that trap. Guys over there? So you had names? So you made the space a little bit bigger, or did you actually just use the cones as a point of reference? I liked that. Whether or not that was by luck or judgment, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of ideas now. Let's say you're nailing that game of one bounce. How many touches could you take, by the way? Make as many as you want. So a rule that you might have brought in was you can only take three, or you can take up to ten might do it in one touch. So that's something that you might explore. If I just borrow this pitch here, set yourselves up two on either side of these cones. So two on this side, two on that side. Do we have four in here? Yeah. Great. Choose a match ball. How many are in the grid? Four. 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 So I'm the umpire, so what are we playing? Tennis. Tennis. So you can come up with rules. You can change them if you want. Ball must bounce once, but does it have to? Nope. No, because that's tennis. Try and get the ball back over. You can take up to three touches each. Yeah, try and win a point, i.e. 15 love. You ready, you serve? Play. Oh, he's kept it in. How confident is that? Are you Put your samples over here. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. Love it. So, where you could play, would you say that's easier or harder than one bounce? Some of people might see it as harder. Others might see it as easier. I see it as a bit harder, personally. So, another way you can play the game, in fact, we can use those. I might just put another one in. Another game you might play is through the gate or through the gap. 
what you can do is, is you're all working together if I just take your place nothing you've done wrong you're just the nearest so we're going to play back and forth you can set it off to your mate but you can't play through the same gate twice we're working together play yes I'll have Ooh. that's all right take as many touches as you want so enjoy the ball if it comes to you if you can put we might swap. Come on, come on. Oh, I love it. So play through a different gap every time. Lovely. Great angles now and relax. So you've got two games there. You can either go and play football tennis for three minutes or you can play a version of through the gate or through the gap. Happy with that? Okay, set yourselves up. Three or four minutes. Off you go. So these guys were playing uh, a version of through the gate or through the gap, you might call it. Uh, and they were playing through different angles. What was the question I posed to you? Yeah. So you can't the ball. Great. Actually, you might not want to pass it. You might want to do what with it? Keep it, run with it, or travel with it. Yeah. What's the difference between running with the ball and dribbling? Right, and it's a smaller space, isn't it? If we had acres, and we won't, because I haven't got the legs in me to demo, if we had acres, yeah, it would be running with the ball. But I might dribble, just crouch down for it, or come out, I'm you. I thought about that then. Yeah. So I might go, oh, I don't fancy passing to Wooder, but I want Wooder to show me a run. If I dribble over here, he might burst over there. Brilliant. I could play it to him on the way, couldn't I? So a little progression is, yeah, we're playing. If at any point someone wants to run with it, what are you thinking about it? Which one on the outside? No. And relax. We're six year olds trying to be Barcelona, by the way. Just so you know. It was a beautiful. Call it. I don't know if you have it in your notes. Okay, let's go and have a look at this one. So we'll see. Watch them playing a version of football tennis. I want to challenge your observation. There's an opportunity to win a three point point. So a hat trick, yeah? See if you can figure out what it looks like. Oh, I love it. And relax. What do we think? Great. If you want to score a hat trick point, can you set your mate up to play it on the other side? Why might I want to try and encourage that? Because we spoke about it, didn't we? What, would, what did you say? Technique. Technique, tell me more. Uh, it's good habits for them. It's, it's teach them uh, to pass the ball to friends. And uh, helps, uh, uh, how to say that? Helps deal with the ball. Fantastic. Have you read the England DNA? No. You've just summarised it nice, and that fits into a tweet as well. I'm having that when we, when we play it back. I'm having that. What was the word Lucas used beginning with H? Habit. So we're yeah? Lucas is used beginning with H. Habits. Yeah? So let me just replay this. I'll just take your place, Ben. Nothing you've done wrong. So if the ball comes over from Charlotte, just, just, just serve to me, Charlotte. Nice one. Oh, you go with the scoop. We've called this the Charlotte. So, so that if I go and relax, Think about the context of the game. With one touch, I've just gone, you have it. Think about it. Good habit or bad habit? Bad, why? Just giving the ball away. Giving the ball away. But if I fancy a three-pointer, I'm going to set my mate up. I might even have it back. Uh, I love it. Little drop shot. Are you alert? Oh, great. Out. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so when we come, so in terms of getting players into good habits, great word, I think we need to incentivise to make sure that players go for the good habit. Does it mean to say that they can't play it back in one if they want to? No, but what would children prefer, three points or one? Three. How many points could win the game though? One. So you might win with one and then do what with the bus? Just park it. 
but in a game like tennis it's going to be coming straight back at you. So we want to encourage players to actually appreciate this thing, try and combine with their mate, and that's stuff that's in the England DNA as well. Can you combine once you've got used to being with this on your own? Because sooner or later I might need a teammate and vice versa. Does that make sense? Great. Just collect the cones up from those arrival activities. Three minutes over there, then we're going to play a game.